Good day. The uniform that you see me wearing before you now is very much similar to the uniform that I wore when I entered Congress. This were the colors that were chosen by myself for the Fairfax Militia. They were the colors of the Whig Party in Parliament, blue and buff. These colors denoted that they stood for liberty as the Whigs were defending our rights and liberties as free British citizens in the Parliament. And we very much so wish to state that that was our intended purpose as well. When I arrived in Congress wearing this uniform, I was stating very clearly what I believed was at stake and what my politics were. When I was made Commander in Chief of the Army, I decided that this would be the colors of our uniform for our officers. I added for myself as Commander in Chief a blue sash. Other generals of lesser rank would wear pink and purple sashes. Uh, these ribbons were meant to make us appear on the field different from other officers and let people know to whom they were speaking. Now, as time went by, we became allied with the French. When the French came, they mentioned to us that ribbons across the chest were a sign of royalty. We wished to show no monarchist inclinations. And so we very quickly decided we would remove our ribbons and instead put upon our epaulets, which until then had been plain knotted epaulets, stars. I, of course, have three as commander in chief. Lesser generals will have two and one star. You may also note that our cockades, which for officers were black, the French wore white. And when we became allied with them, we added a white center to our cockades. The French, wearing white cockades, added black to their centers to denote that they were our allies. I hope that this has illuminated for you some of the reasons behind our uniforms and what you see when we are wearing them in the field. Good day.